Nasdaq 100 and Dow Jones traded with a modest bearish bias today. In fact, both have seen the lows at uh, 15,140 and 33,900 levels, which are greater support levels for Tech 100 here. Now, both are trying to reverse. So, can we expect that the bulls are back and it is going to rise? We will see with the help of charts and indicators which position you should take in order to profit with the US session. If you are not subscribed to the channel, do subscribe to the channel to get the live updates. This is the second update for the day. Those who watched the first update must have profited. Let's start. First, you look into Tech 100 followed with Dow Jones watch. First, if you look at the early chart, see the drop here, the lows, retracement, then the lows, the retracement. Now, again, 15200, 220 is a greater resistance zone. Once it stays above 200, we can look forward to 220. We can look forward to 240, 250 as the first. And then it may try to move towards 15300 levels as well. This is also possible. The stock elastic is rising. MACD has hit a bottom. Now trying to trade with little divergence. First greener candle. We can see follow up greener candles from here. RSI is rising as well. Coming to two hour charts. Likewise on the two hour charts. See if you look at the two hour charts. What has happened on the two hour charts is. It was trading in this zone. It has seen the rise. It has fallen back within these levels. And now I will wait for it to break out. Now this breakout suggests it has to stay below 15, 140 and 100 levels. If these two are levels are taken, more fall is waiting for US 100 here. Right now it is not signaling any such bearishness. Stochastic, comfortable. MACD is divergent and bearish. RSI is at the bottom here as well. And on the three, likewise on the three RHRC, uh, possibly it is after the drop, it is retracing beyond 15, 220 is where the bulls will be taking over. Else, remember it can reverse completely because this is a reversal sign. Prices may reverse completely. Thus, once you see it is staying below 15,140, you can just stay short for 15,100, 15,080 as the first target, and then 15,000 levels. The stock is rising from the oversold. MACD is divergent and bearish. RSI is flat here. Coming to four, now see on the four hour charts, 20 period moving average so far giving it a good resistance. Only above 15,220, one can initiate a buying position for 240, 250, and then in fact we can look at 15,300 as well. Now what is happening? If you look at more closely, you will find uh, Tech 100 trading in this channel. It has to come out of this channel in order to confirm a break. Also, if you look at this is symmetrical position, thus it may try to stay within the zone for a while before taking a break. Stock has taken oversold trying to recover. MACD is divergent and bearish. And see, this crossover has come up at a higher levels. That is why we can see it is staying bearish here. RSI has come out of the overbought zone. Coming to the now, if you look at the daily charts here, higher highs, and this is the channel in which it is trying to trade. 15, 240, 250 levels should be the highs here, which are going to give it a maximum resistance. And if it stays above 15,250s, where we can say that the bulls are taking over. Remember, it has seen the lows and it can probably drop more. It can in fact drop below 15,100 as well. If you look at this crossover, this was the first red candle here after achieving higher highs. Thus, today we may see a red candle here. Thus, we have to be watchful as long as 15,250 is not breeze. We should not treat tech 100 as bullish. It can possibly reverse. But look at the crossover in MACD here. Uh, moving averages here. This is a good sign for the bulls and right now it is sitting at 4900. Also, one must note that the divergence of the price from the moving average, it is too much diverge. Hence, some point of time, it should try to converge. The stock has stick looking downwards. MACD is in green trying to converge a bit. Candle size diminishing suggests that the we may see a red candle probably. Thus, uh, yes, one can buy at 15,220, but with a caution note that 240, 250 or rather I will say 240, 260 is the first resistance zone where we where nasdaq 100 may find a greater resistance here beyond 15260 directly we may see it landing at 15300 levels and it's saying about 300 sky is the limit 330 340 again that is the second resistance zone which it needs to break past by in order to confirm the reversal else if you see the price is staying below 15140 just stay short we are looking 15100080 is the first target and then 15000 levels should also get achieved the stock has stick here is falling and this is still suggestive of bearishness. Thus, take your trades accordingly. Buy at 15,220 with a caution note that it has greater resistance on the upside and a selling entry, safer selling entry is only at 15,140 levels. Take your trades accordingly. Now, let's have a look at Dow Jones and before we proceed to year 30, if you want to learn this art of trading, you can join my mentorship batch. The 27th mentorship batch is going to start on 7th of now, uh, 20th of November. Register yourself, now itself. Remember, invest in your learning first, which can reap the profits to you throughout your life. Visit the platform forexhonda.com for more details about the bad, the curriculum, the timings, and the services which you'll get. Also, you can book and pay there itself. 
and yes do register for the webinar for the weekly webinar we are going to conduct tomorrow where we will take your questions live and also we'll see what can be expected of the mar markets coming and yes this platform has much more to offer whether be it the economic calendar be it the charts from across the globe or you can also schedule an appointment if you need any consultation or guidance and yes uh, the important part is the availability of the discussion forum so do visit the platform forex under and if you want to be part of my signals channel you can reach out to me as well trading as per the signals you can definitely benefit reach out to me via telegram or email for more details on the signals channel let's start with us 30 see us 30 on the early charts after seeing a good fall it is showing a reversal and this is the first bullish candle let us say about 34 0 10 levels below that beyond 34 0 10 levels couple of resistance at 34 0 5 0 34 100 120 zone only and only if it stays above 34 120 we can say that more bulls will take over else it is staying in this bearish channel where you can look at lower highs lower lows here so we have to watch out how it behaves at around 34 100 120 zone even if it tries to rise that should provide a greater resistance stock stochastic has dropped macd has crossed over here trading with little divergence and bullishness rsi is rising as well coming to two hour charts likewise on the two hour chart the drop the retracement here hence the bulls might take over if it stays above 34000 levels here stock stochastic near to top macd is bearish it may possibly converge crossover rsi is rising as well coming to if you look at three hour charts one red candle higher highs higher lows. we can look for we should wait for 34,000, 34,020 levels to be breached for further bullishness here. And then 34,050, 34,100, 120 is the next milestone beyond which you can say that the prices are turning bullish. See, it has to break past by 34,100, 120 in order to confirm a reversal. Chances for which appears to be less. What is happening? The drop, it is retracing. And from here, a possible drop cannot be denied. But see, if you look at these two highs, it is trying to trade in this. Thus, 34,150 also should be a greater resistance. If it tries to rise, the stochastic rising, MACD is bearish trying to converge, RSI is rising as well. And on the 4 hour chart, similar observation, just wait for it to stay above 34,010 in, uh, in order to confirm a little further bullishness. However, I still uh, recommend you to stay cautious. This is not a complete a stochastic rising, MACD bearish. And if you look at MACD here, yes, it has seen a good drop. It has come to the median levels, but it can possibly achieve the lows as well. RSI has dropped here. Coming to the daily. Now look at the daily chart. See, double bottom is what is interesting here. Almost forming the double bottom. We have seen this rise. Now lower high suggest that uh, it may find greater resistance. But yes, you can buy here at 34,010. And you have to trail it as long as 34,200 is not breached. We have to just trail our stop losses. Yes, it can reverse any point of time. Because right now it is not yet indicative of a complete bullishness. Yesterday's was the first red candle and it has shown a major pull. So this candle can also show you a major pull and then we can see a massive fall, fall as well. Thus, if you see the price is staying below 33,900, we can stay short here. The stock I stick looking down. MACD is in green trying to converge RSI flat. There's a selling entry at 33,900 and a buying entry at 34,010 can be taken. On the upside, as long as 34,200, I will say, is not breached. You have to trail your stop losses 33050, 33120 at the next, and then 33150, 160 at the third resistance zone before it breaks past 34200. So 34200, 160, 140 at the first, and then 34100, 120 at the next, and then below that 34050. Be cautious of these. On the downside, 33,850, 800, two major support levels below 33,800 is where the major fall will be seen and 33,600 levels cannot be denied here. Take your trades accordingly. Have a great profitable trading day ahead and a happy weekend. See you again next week. Do watch the weekly review tomorrow. Stay tuned. Thank you very much.